Hey guys, this is Nurul Huda and I am a verified educator at An Academy. Along with that, I am teaching live on An Academy Plus. It's a live platform where educators like me are taking live classes for various competitive exams. I personally teach for CSIR Net, GATE and TIFR exam. So if you guys are preparing for upcoming CSIR Net, GATE or TIFR exam, you can subscribe to my classes and you can join my classes on an academy plus so for that what you have to do is take an academy plus subscription and there you can uh, attend my classes live over there now uh, for that if you put my referral code that is n underscore huda uh, while taking subscription you will get a discount of 10 percent on your subscription fee there are also many offline lessons available on an academy you can enhance your problem solving skills by watching those offline videos as well. So that's all from for this particular part. Now let's continue with our video. Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So I'm making this video because CSIR has just released a very important update regarding the next CSIR exam. And we all were waiting for this update. We all were like we all were in the like dilemma that what is going to be the exam pattern and everything. So by now everything is clear and it's like I could say that it's something very unexpected which I was personally not expecting. See, uh, okay, I'll talk about everything one by one. Let's first talk about what CSIR has said, okay? So in the announcement, you can see right now on your screen, the screenshot of that. So they have said that uh, the next exam, that is CSIR December 2019 exam is going to be CBT. That means computer based test. Okay, so that is going to be computer based test. So this we already knew about it, right? Second thing is that there is no change in the syllabus and we were also expecting that there likely that there is not going to be any change in the syllabus of exam. Syllabus will be the same. But uh, there is also not change in any exam pattern. Okay, so the exam pattern is also going to be same. So that is something which we were not expecting. Like personally, I was not expecting that thing because uh, for a computer based test giving this much options it becomes difficult to choose between the options because on when you have a physical uh, paper when you have a physical question paper there it becomes easy to decide that which question you have to take and which you don't have to take but when you have questions on the virtual screen on on your computer it's it becomes difficult to to select out of 60 questions you have to select 25 so let me first tell you that in part a as it was earlier or, or from 20 questions there will be 20 questions you have to do only 15 right uh, so uh, among 20 questions you have to do 15 in part a in part b among 40 questions you have to do only 35 and in part c as uh, earlier it would be 60 questions and you have to do 25 out of that so this is going to be very difficult for students okay as as per me because i have not given like any one of us has not given this exam till now but yeah uh, like because we have given other computer based exam like gate exam is there and other entrance exams are there which are computer based so uh, like after seeing that we you can expect that yeah there will be some uh, problem with the students while selecting questions okay so while selecting questions I, i'm not saying that uh, while solving question or something there will be problem during the selection of question okay then that which 25 question actually you are going to do so I just hope that they are uh, like the way the interface which they will provide that will be more user friendly or they will that will be helpful in deciding and all everything right. So that in like the interface is going to play the key role now. So what kind of interface they guys are providing so that is going to decide that how much difficulty or how much easy it is going to be for a particular student. But yeah obviously this will be very beneficial that you will be getting a results within 15 days so that is going to be very very helpful for all the students right you don't have to wait for results for long so let's talk about the good things and the bad things good things are like uh, you you have to give a computer based exam so basically when you when you do something like in a omr sheet when you do some mistake you cannot like erase and uh, redo that but in a computer based exam you can do that right if you if you after that you realize after selecting an option you realize that no this was not the option is something else then you can do that right so that is something that flexibility is a, a like uh, that is possible in a computer based exam which is not possible in a uh, omr sheet based exam right so this is one of the things second thing is that uh, like since it will be a computer based exam so uh, like uh, like there will be less chances of human error what is human error that 
like while filling your roll number or while filling your name and all the details which you fill in your OMR sheet uh, that will come auto fill right in your in, in your computer so that mistake is going to be reduced so these are some benefits of it right so and what are demerits of it so I'll talk about demerits in a way that uh, as a student okay so as a student there are a lot of things first of all uh, for a person who is going to give this exam for the first time a person who is going to give computer based exam for the first time it would be a little difficult for him to get into this kind of uh, like interface and all right computer based and you have your mouse and you have to select options and all second thing is that uh, like when you have to read question from the screen and you have to solve in your scribble pad it also it's also a little difficult for especially for those who are wearing specs and all okay so those who are not having uh, like proper sight so for those students it becomes a little difficult also uh, like like uh, like totally watching your screen for three hours it, it is also tiring for the eye so these are some basic things some basic problems and most important problem which i have already talked about is that like you have to select questions right out of 60 you have to select only 25 so how you how that person is going to do when you have questions on the screen that is something which we all have to see that what like how they are going to give the infra, uh, like the interface and all for for the exam now to do that uh, like if you are how you can overcome these things so that is also uh, been provided by nta because this time exam is being taken by national testing agency nta so what they have given is they have announced a lot of tpc okay so tpc are test practice sex, uh, centers so these centers are in all the cities where this exam will be held so you can ch check the like link of that i'll give the link of that in the description you can click over there and you can see that whether which centers are uh, there from your city right so you can go to those centers especially on saturdays and sundays and you can book a slot of, over there online you can book the slot you can go to that center at that particular time and you can see that what kind of uh, interface they guys are providing okay so i will suggest all of you especially for those who are giving computer based exam for the first time do check it out okay do go to the nearest tpc and try to uh, like get into the interface of the exam try to see that what kind of interface they are providing uh, and how you have to deal with it in exam okay this is going to help you this these little things will help you uh, during exam now uh, there is very uh, much asked question from you guys that whether cut uh, like the um, calculator will be provided or not so there has not been like nothing has been mentioned regarding calculator and all so if exam pattern is same if the syllabus is same if everything is same so i hope the rules whatever they have given earlier like there is no computer allowed no uh, sorry no uh, le uh, your scientific calculator allowed no uh, like electronic gadgets were allowed in the center in the same way i think this time also whether the exam is computer based but they will not allow or they will not provide any scientific calculator this is what i think okay i don't know because there is no clarification from csr side but this is my opinion and if it is not provided then you can be little assured with the with the, with the physical chemistry questions right and yeah it is very early to talk about the cutoff and everything because i have seen a lot of posts on facebook where people are saying that now cutoff will go low you cannot predict that okay and don't like don't think about it like that and don't like don't don't think about it in this way that the cutoff will be low give your best in the exam and yeah this is very important to get into the interface of the exam okay so i'll suggest you to go to the nearest tpc and uh, like take a take book a slot and see that what kind of interface they guys are providing i'll try to do that for you guys uh, whenever i'll get time and i'll try to do that and if possible if they will allow me i will show you that what kind of interface they guys provide right so that's all for this video guys do tell me in the comment section that what you guys think about the new exam pattern and all okay uh, actually it's not a new exam pattern but the way they are conducting the exam so do tell me in the comment section and yeah at the end if you guys are new to this channel uh, subscribe to this channel if you guys like this video give it a like and share it with your friends thank you so much for watching guys have a great day